Hi everybody, it's Yvette McQueen, MD, a global traveling physician, a global physician on a mission to educate about health, travel wellness, and disease prevention. So I'm out here traveling internationally outside of the United States, and I wanted to get you, give you some quick packing tips because I'm actually headed home tomorrow. So if you think you are traveling somewhere uh, where you bringing back like wine or anything in the bottle of whiskey, make sure you bring with you, and I, I bring it with me, and it lays flat in my suitcase, and I just use it, are these packing wine um, uh, sleeves. Some of them are just the foam. Some of them actually have extra cushion, one inside the other. So it will hold your bottles for um, put it in your suitcase and keep it nice and cushioned so it does not break if this is your suitcase because you definitely can't take it on your check on. No. Another thing is if you know you, you have your one bag and you're going back home and you bought a few souvenirs, a few clothes, a little shopping, I always carry a collapsible bag. It can be any bag. This also could be checked too. So it's a bag that has a zipper on it and it's durable or I could use it as extra, oh, extra carry-on if I did have a carry-on already. So that was the one good thing I talked about um, last week about being a frequent flyer of airlines. So that's one good thing about is internationally, you usually can check at least one bag for free. With frequent flyers, you can usually check two to three bags for free international travel. Um, so I know in the domestic, people are like, oh, I fly. Certain airlines won't name them because they check bags for free. But if that airline is not flying internationally, you want to have a frequent flyer with someone that will give you free international. So this is a nice collapsible bag. It's in its pocket. I unzip it. It pops out to another bag. Let's see here. It pops out to be a full bag. Let me show you here. See, I have some writing on it, but oh, come on out. Pop out. Yay. To be a full. See how big this bag is? Back up so you can see. You see, this is this is the pocket actually fit in in here. It was, this is the pocket it fit in, and now it's become. I can unzip it, open it up. See how big this bag is back up a little bit more. See how big this bag is now? That little square. So I can actually use this, probably my souvenirs. I have a, I usually don't buy a lot of souvenirs since I travel so much, but I do uh, get at least one shot glass from each country I go to. So uh, things that are breakable, you definitely want to carry on with you. And when I came, I only had like a little crossbody purse and my backpack. So I actually can put all my souvenirs here in this bag and use this as my carry-on and then it zips. Or if I wanted to stuff clothes or something in here and free up my suitcase for other thing items so it doesn't go over the 51 pounds, I can use that too and then check it because it's durable and it zips up and this could be my second check bag. So make sure you're doing that. If you're traveling internationally, make sure you're, you are weighing your bags. So one good thing about um, my travel box, I'm gonna throw that in, little advertisement, is that uh, it does have a digital uh, luggage scale. So you put the, pick it up, your suitcase, and it can tell you how much it weighs. International travel, they will even weigh your carry-on bag 
So make sure your bag is, we in the United States, we say 50 pounds is like 20 to 21 kilos uh, here internationally. Your carry-on should only be 25 pounds, which is about 12 kilos when you do the conversion. And they will weigh it. So I was traveling somewhere today from one country to the other, and they weighed my carry-on. I didn't have a carry-on. It was my backpack. But they still weighed it because they're considered an overhead or underneath the seat, uh, and they tag it as a carry-on bag. So, because uh, if you have a purse, I have the purse, the backpack was my extra bag, and they weigh it. So make sure your carry-on, so if you're just doing carry-on suitcase, the 19-inch, make sure it's 19-inch, 19-inch, 21-inch um, carry-on suitcase, uh, they will weigh it to make sure it's only 25 kilos. Or I'm sorry, 25 pounds, 12 kilos. So make sure uh, when you're doing international travel, make sure you take those concepts into um, consideration when you're packing. So pack um, your sleeves for your wine bottles or anything else you, you're carrying. Pack a collapsible bag. You can be just a, the some people just use the um, reusable shopping bags too or tote bag that you can just put in and it could be an extra carry-on bag for you if you need to or have one that can you can also check with your second bag and watch those weights on those bags so those are some quick tips about packing things you should bring with you while you're traveling internationally they're flat in your suitcase and help you to travel back home uh, more efficiently so Yvette McQueen, MD. Make sure you're following me for my healthy travel tips, okay? Ciao for now.